welcome to Creators in Box. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made this Mandalorian helmet. So, this helmet had a lot more work put into it than it seems from the outside. There's a lot of stuff on the inside, and I'll go over that here in this next part of the video. As you saw, we cut off the top of this so that this could actually fit. And what we did is, as you can see, this is kind of messy. It's like really messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clippers and I'm going to take some sand and hopefully I'll be able to clean that whole mess up. And finally I'll be able to stick the top and bottom together. pretty much where it is for now. Um, the next step, like I said, will likely be doing the electronics. Now, inside, what I want is to have a pair of headphones, Bluetooth headphones, preferably, that you're able to plug in and keep using and everything. So, what I have to do with this is go through, find the tiny screws, take them out, and I'm going to have to find a way to take this whole shell apart. considering it's Bluetooth headphones going in a helmet, we need something to charge. Anyways, moving on from that piece, moving on to a separate section. Um, Mandalorian helmets have this panel in the front here, and it's so they can see, obviously. But, what one of the biggest things is, is I can't find that material. I've tried, I've looked all over, I've tried to buy it, I just can't find something that works. So what I did was I've seen things of people like, taking apart monitors and making sunglasses that you can see with. See the, just the screen. But what I decided to do was take that and cut out the teeth. It looks probably pretty clear, you probably might not be able to see it on camera, but you'll be able to see it when it's in the helmet. The, I cut out all the correct measurements and made it so that I can just stick it here in the Mandalorian helmet and have it actually look good. Um, it looks amazing. I already put it in and checked it out a little bit. But um, I pretty much wrecked a monitor of mine. And so now I'm just gonna have to clean that up and uh, keep working on sanding the uh, helmet. Okay, 
So, as you just saw, I went through and primed the helmet. What I have to do now is just go over it with a ton of sandpaper, sand it as much as possible, and then I'm going to go over it with another layer and just keep repeating that process a couple of times. And uh, I'm not going to go through and show you all that boring process, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand it real quick, I'm going to prime it again, and I'll come back when I'm ready to paint. By the way, in that time, initially when I took the headphones out, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, I actually broke a wire. It came out and one of the headphones wasn't working. I got it soldered up and I got it fixed. So now both headphones are working. I have tested it out multiple times connected to Bluetooth. So all that, all that we'll have to do is install them into the helmet once it's painted. We're really almost done. This much of the helmet is done. It's finally starting to look close to complete. Now, you might see the one part that we're clearly missing on the outside. We do not have the T covering it, so what we're probably going to do is we're going to take the T I cut out before. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down with some Windex and with a cloth, and then we're going to hot glue this on the inside. I'm going to hot glue around the edges and stick them because I added some clearance to this. But then what I'm going to do is also take some packing tape and go over just to make sure that it actually stays in nice, com nice and comfortably. So after that, I just have to install the electronics and we're done. I'm thinking I might actually add some ba battle damage to this. Just take some a few scratches here and there, but nothing super significant. And uh, I think it might really help improve the sort of overall theme of it. You might see, this is the Minotaur, um, sigil, create, same, whatever. <laughs> um, I wasn't originally planning on doing that, but I decided for it, and honestly, I think it came out really well. Um, I'm gonna start that now, I'll show you the process. This looks absolutely incredible. One thing did happen that is sort of unfortunate. Down here at the bottom, you might see there's a piece of missing and sort of chipped out with the uh, black. But um, that just broke. I wasn't able to repair it. So this is what you're ended up with. I'm gonna make a battle damage, so maybe that broke at some point during a battle. But look how amazing that looks. Now let's see. I'm not sure if it looks as good from the outside as it, outside as it does from the inside, but it, this looks amazing. Okay, hi. So, instead of finishing up the last little bit of electronics, I wanted to do something to make this helmet a little bit more comfortable for me. That's what I did. So I ran over to Joanne's, got a bunch of this foam here. And what I'm going to do is cut it into a bunch of strips, and I'm going to line the inside with it so that it'll fit on my head a lot better. Because I'm not sure if you've seen in previous shots, or I've showed you in person if you're a friend of mine, but what I've ended up doing is it's really big. <laughs> it's really, really big on me. So what I'm going to do is take this, line the top, and I'm probably going to double layer it so that it adds a little bit of cushion between my head and the top of the thing. And that way I'm able to like actually look out of it and not look completely ridiculous. Although it's occurring to me I'm wearing a Mandalorian helmet that I made on me. Whatever. It okay, so now the helmet has a bunch of foam in it, which should make it more comfortable for me to put my face in. So let's see. Oh wow, this is incredibly, incredibly more comfortable. Honestly, I think this will be probably a really comfortable helmet now that I've done this.